Welcome to the Defiance Public Library Knit and Crochet Club. So for this first month, we're just going to learn how to do the knit stitch. We're also going to be looking at how to cast on. And the knit stitch can also be known as the garter stitch. It's a very stretchy stitch. Um, it's actually used throughout this sampler scarf on the edges. We'll be doing three on each side to make that nice finished look. It's great for scarves. A couple supplies you'll need. You'll need knitting needles. These are actually double pointed needles, but I will be using these ones because they're a little shorter and it leaves room for me to work in between the camera here. And then I also have my yarn. I'm going to be switching out colors each block that I do so that we can differentiate between the blocks but you can use all of the same color, but you will want about 350 yards of worsted weight yarn. You would have to adjust it if you're gonna use a different size yarn and the size of your scarf is going to change also depending on the size of your needles and the size of your yarn. I'm actually using size nine. I had suggested size eights. So I'm just using the nines because they're a little bigger so it shows up better here on camera. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment and I will answer them as soon as I see your question. So one of the first things that you need to know how to do is a slip knot. So you can wrap around your finger and make a loop and then pull the yarn through that loop and that makes a nice slip knot there for the end. And I'm just going to have the, one of the most basic cast-ons here. There are many different cast-ons. Um, there's like the long uh, tail cast-on and then there's the two needle one. But this one is pretty basic. You just wrap your yarn around and you put it on. We're going to be casting on 30 stitches in total for this pattern and this pattern is actually a beginner stitch sampler scarf and it was adapted from the Find Your Niche website and the creator of that has given permission for people to use it to teach people how to knit. And I have changed the pattern up also so that we were learning more stitches. And I'm actually going to take this off just for a little bit and show you another way of doing this. And also so that I can show you the slip knot again. So I just wrapped it around my finger, pulled it off, and pulled it through. You could also use your knitting needle to help you pull that up and I put it on my needle. So another way of casting on is the two needle way and I'm going to pull a, the active yarn over and put it onto the needle. And this is a lot like knitting already at this point. It's a little more complicated. It will have more of a finished look on the edge than the more basic one, but you can use what you're most comfortable with. Also in our group that we have here, there are guides. And in those guides, I have added links to different YouTube videos showing how to do all of the things that we will be discussing in these live videos. So you can see how this had a thicker edge and it'll be a little more of a finish than the other one. But I'm going to go with the basic just because it's a little faster because we only have an hour here 
before I need to do our crochet club. Also with this you have to make sure that your space in between is about the same. And you know what, even if it's not perfect, it's okay. You're learning and not everything is perfect the first time. It takes a lot of time to learn knitting skills and a lot of just practice. And don't feel discouraged if you're having any trouble with anything because yes, it can be hard, but if you practice it, it gets better. I also have in those guides that we have um, left-handed instructions because I know that it can be hard to learn from a right-handed instructor. I have tried <laughs> to teach left-handed and I have tried to do things with my non-dominant hand and it is quite difficult. So there are some tips in there if you are left-handed and need those uh, guides. So here I have everything cast on and ready to go. Now to knit, we'll just put our needle into that first loop. We're going to take our active yarn, which is attached to the ball of yarn over this way, and wrap it around the right hand needle. We're going to pull it down and around. So now that loop from the active yarn is still on your right hand needle, but it has gone through the loop that's on your left hand needle, and then we're just going to push the loop off of the left hand needle. And then we're just going to keep repeating all the way across. And oh, there I dropped it. So I'm going to try again. And it will get this um, long line in between if you've done your cast on the way I have. So I'm going to put my needle into the left hand loop on top. I'm going to yarn over my right hand needle. I'm going to pull that loop through the loop on the left one and then kick that loop off. And you see here I've kind of lost some of my tension and that was because I wasn't keeping my tension good. And tension has to do with how tight you were holding it. I let it go a little too loose there. But you also don't want to tighten it either, because if you do it too tight, it's really hard to get your needle into the next row. I'm going to back back down here. And we're just going to keep going across this.
So like I said, um, it still takes a lot of practice. I've been doing knitting for a while and I still make mistakes and you're not a real crafter unless you've made a mistake. <laughs> so to do the garter stitch, we're just going to continue knitting for the next um, six inches of length. You can actually modify that number if you want a longer or shorter scarf. I did six inches because we have 10 stitches and it makes about 60 um, inches of a scarf. So we'll continue knitting. thing you'll want to be careful with if you have a long tail on yours is to not pick that up and start knitting with it. And the amount of rows that you will need might be a different number of rows that I will need, just depending on your yarn, the size of the needles you're using. Um, even different worsted weight yarns are slightly different, and I just kind of learned about um, what it's called. It's called grist, and that's got to do with the pounds per yard of the yarn so some of them are a bit denser than others so they will knit differently. When you finish a row you just take and switch which hand it's in so you'll put it into your non-dominant hand, the main work, and have your right, your needle that you're working with in your dominant hand. Or whichever hand you prefer to knit with, because I do know left-handed people who knit right-handed way. I'm gonna show knitting backwards say I, well, here, I will do an incorrect stitch first and then do a couple knit stitches to show fixing that. Okay. So all the way back here, I have a purl instead of a knit, and we will talk about purls next month when we do stocking net stitch, but we just want knits in this particular stitch that we're doing. So I'm going to go back and pick up this loop here and then take the one off the left and pull it out. You could also take and pull these out, but you have to be careful to not let your loops that are now just free um, close up and become holes in your project. So there we go with that. And there are ways to pick up yarn to fix holes. Um, I have a whole book on different fixes in knitting here in the makerspace that you are able to check out. Um, I believe it is called Knit Fix, and you can request it on our catalog, or you can stop in here if you would like to check it out. And just a reminder on how the knit stitch is done, you take your working needle you put it right here through this loop, you yarn over, and then you pull it down and through the loop on 
the main side here and then you just drop that off of your needle. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. So you can see mine's kind of bunched up here and wavy. That's just because I don't want it to fall off the end of my double pointed needle here. Um, usually your knitting needles will have the ends on them that prevent it from falling off. So now I'm gonna turn it again and just continue knitting. <laughs> just in this a little bit of time we have managed to already knit an inch of our scarf already which is very exciting so I'm going to keep knitting just the knit stitch and I promise it gets a little more exciting uh, next time because we're going to be doing a different stitch and then as we continue on it'll get real exciting so there there is the knit stitch good luck and have a good night